play. It's Thursday, June 6th. I'm Dave Morris. We're going to take a look at some of the stories that will receive some play attention in tomorrow's editions of the Oklahoma, and you can find them online at newsok.com as well. We'll take a look at a legal challenge to a new measure that set aside money for capital improvements and lowered the income tax rate. We'll take a look at what's the latest on the drought condition, and we'll take a look at some other storm stories. And here to tell us more about it, Nick Shogakis from the Oklahoma Newsroom. Thanks so much for your time. Sure. And we're learning more uh, about some victim stories, and this is a story Nolan Clay is working on. Yeah, we've had just, you know, uh, such a, a big number of really gripping stories telling the tales of these victims and, and their ordeals in the storms. And Nolan has turned up uh, another one that maybe is one of the more heart-wrenching ones that we've seen so far. It's about a young man who uh, got caught up in the tornado. He was with his fiance's grandfather. They were, their car was thrown from the road. And uh, not to steal too much of the story from the newspaper and from News OK, but uh, he watched his grandfather die his fiance's grandfather die, gets out of the car to help someone else, ends up seeing that person die. And so in the span of just a few minutes, he's ripped off by a tornado, watches two people die. And uh, you just, sometimes you just think, man, I don't know if these stories can get much more emotional, but it seems like we keep turning those things up. Wow, heartbreaking and compelling. Those storms, including the one on May 31st, dumped an awful lot of rain on the Sooner State. What's the latest on the drought condition? We do have a drought update out today, and there is some good news and some bad news. The good news is, Central Oklahoma and all the way over to the east, officially out of the drought now, which has been quite a while since we could say that. Uh, the bad news is western and northwest Oklahoma still very dry, um, dealing with bad drought conditions. We're going to have a recap of that uh, scenario in the newspaper tomorrow. And this weekend, we're actually looking ahead to the wheat harvest as well, which a lot of the western portions of the, uh, of the state are big on wheat. And that's something they're having to struggle with with the dry conditions. And, you know, I guess we had all those storms in the rain, but that's where the storms form is out west, and then they get going as they, they head east towards the state, through the rest of the state. All right, one other story that Michael McKnight is working on. It's a legal challenge to House Bill 2303. And that allotted $60 million for capital repair and lowered top personal income tax rate for 2015. So why is this measure being challenged now? Well, there is an attorney in Oklahoma City. His name's Jerry Fent. And he has sort of a personal crusade to make sure that legislation that's passed by our, our lawmakers down at the Capitol meet up with the Oklahoma Constitution. And one thing he looks for is legislation that would violate the single subject rule. What that says is that a certain bill can only deal with one specific topic. Now, he recently actually won a case on tort reform that they're going to have to go back and redo some laws there. Well, now he's challenging uh, this bill that passed. And it was one of the centerpieces of, of the governor and the House leadership's uh, plan for this this session was to get income tax reduction and to get repairs for the capital. Well, these were both lumped into one bill, and now Fent is saying this violates the state constitution and the single subject rule. So he's asked the state Supreme Court to see if this law now holds muster. Interesting. Could undo a, a fair bit of work that was done at the state this year. Wow, and we'll read that work from Michael McNutt in tomorrow's editions of the Oklahoma. That'll do it for this edition of The Play. Nick, thanks for your time. We appreciate it. Yeah. Again, these stories and more can be found in tomorrow's editions of the Oklahoma. Have a great night, everyone.